Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Hosea, chapter 10. Israel is anti-vine, he bringeth forth fruit unto himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he hath increased the altars. According to the goodness of his land, they have made goodly images. Their heart is divided, now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars, he shall spoil their images. For now they shall say, We have no king, because we feared not the Lord. What then should a king do to us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely, and making a covenant. Thus judgment springeth up as hemlock in the furs of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria shall fear because of the calves of beth -Avon. For the people thereof shall mourn over it, and the priests thereof that rejoiced on it, for the glory thereof, because it is departed from it. It shall be also carried into Assyria for a present to King Jerob. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, her king is cut off as the foam upon the water. The high places also of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. The thorn and the thistle shall come up on their altars. And they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. O Israel, thou hast sinned from the days of Gibeah. There they stood. The battle in Gibeah against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. It is in my desire that I should ch chastise them, and the people shall be gathered against them, when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. And Ephraim is as an heifer that is taught, and loveth to tread out the corn. But I passed over upon her fair neck. I will make Ephraim to ride, Judah shall plow, and Jacob shall break his clods. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, Reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way, and the multitude of thy mighty men. Therefore shall a tumult arise among thy people, and all thy fortresses shall be spoiled, as Shaman spoiled Beth Arbel in the day of battle. The mother was dashed in pieces upon her children. So shall Bethel do unto you because of your great wickedness. In a morning shall the king of Israel utterly be cut off. Well, that's the reading for today. Here again, what can you add to this type of prophecy? This is a continuation of the condemnation by Hosea from God of Israel. Until next time, may God bless you.